The Last of Us Part 1 PS5 Remake brings a few changes, bringing this classic game up with modern hardware. This game is enhancing different aspects of the original game. Joel and Ellie's classic adventure is rebuilt ground up for the PS5. The game will have no multiplayer. Only comes with a single player experience that people love has been tweaked with new accessibility features, higher quality textures, better AI, and more. When it comes to explaining what video game remakes and remasters are, some of us might feel like it's the same deal, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. And for The Last of Us Part 1, there are many differences between this remake and the remastered version. The remake was completely rebuilt from scratch, while the remastered version only improved the graphics, frame rate, resolution, etc. This remake was built from the ground up for the PS5 and PC. The trailer shows Joel and his brother Tommy having a conversation on horseback, and it's here that you can really see the improved lighting and the foliage surrounding the road. In the next video, we get a glimpse of the remake's take on one of the most traumatic scenes from The Last of Us. Joel, his daughter Sarah, and Tommy in a frenzied attempt to flee Texas amidst the chaos of the emerging pandemic. The specific clip shows the trio watching in horror as an entire house is engulfed in flames. The original game, and particularly the remaster, pulled up incredibly well. But it's not until you see it running next to the full-on remake that you can fully appreciate the potential of modern hardware. With the franchise as popular as ever, the first-party PlayStation Studio is doubling down on its success. Not only is a remake of the original game on the way, but so too is a standalone multiplayer title along with a live-action HBO series. This remake features real-time rendering, new character models, and better graphics across the board. The Last of Us Part 1 is a remake of The Last of Us, the 2013 PS3 game developed by Naughty Dog and published by PlayStation Studios. The game would then be remastered and released on the PS4 in 2014, with a higher frame rate resolution and improved texture quality. Unlike that remaster, Although official gameplay was scarce at first, early leaks months out from launch gave fans a first proper look at the remake in action. Various screenshots and clips from the first two chapters of the game revealed overhauled character models, new architecture inside quarantine zones, along with vastly improved lighting systems at work. The game has leaked several clips including a shootout, Joel using one of the game's workbenches, and also a gunfight in the game's library section. The Last of Us Part 1 is a full remake, with new assets, adjusted cutscenes, and more detail packed into practically every aspect of the game. The game has denser foliage, more realistic fog effects, more detailed textures, better looking water, and an overall higher image quality. Naughty Dog has adjusted the camera angles in some cutscenes to better take advantage of the improved facial detail being pulled from the original performance captures. The game features improved AI with Naughty Dog pulling from the advancements made on The Last of Us Part 2. This means that enemies react more realistically and will flank players in more intelligent ways, making many of the game's combat encounters more difficult. Companion AI has similarly been improved, especially when sneaking around. The game may technically play the same way, but the feeling has been drastically improved thanks to the DualSense haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, which convey more realistic sensations regardless of what the player is doing. The team has also introduced numerous new accessibility features, including audio description for cutscenes, removing obstacles that may have kept some players from enjoying the original game. The Last of Us Part 2 featured a permadeath mode that would restart the game from the beginning every time you die. The Part 1 remake also features this game mode, where dying will send you back to the very beginning of the game. Speedrunners can enjoy the official speedrun mode, which measures a player's time as they go through the game. With the PS5's ultra-fast SSD, initial loading times for the game will be much faster, so players who resume their journeys won't be greeted by the lengthy loading times of the original experience. The faction's multiplayer mode will no longer be present in the remake. Naughty Dog originally intended to launch a new version of Factions alongside The Last of Us Part 2, but this multiplayer experience grew in scope and was delayed past the launch of the single-player story, eventually growing to the point it is now its own project. Co-president at Naughty Dog Neil Druckmann has stated that more will be shared after the game releases. The Last of Us Part 1 is scheduled to launch on September 2, 2022 for PS5. The PC version of the game does not currently have a release window. PlayStation has been on a roll with PC port releases, 
As titles like God of War and Marvel's Spider-Man continue to rack up big money after succeeding on consoles, Naughty Dog is in its marketing spree with the developers showcasing some of the upcoming title's features. While the game received some backlash for its combat mechanics following a recent leak, it sure seems like the game will be a hit among players on PS5, which will include a slew of new features. This is all the leaks and what we know about the game. How do you feel about this new gameplay footage from The Last of Us Part 1? Are you planning to pick up this remake for yourself on PS5? Be sure to let us know either down in the comments below. As always thank you for watching our contents. If you like the video consider a sub and clicking the bell icon for future notifications of our videos.